earlier in our previous videos we have created an asset uh, adding components to the asset adding the spare parts and also define maintenance job plans for and a preventive maintenance schedule for our asset and we have generated the work order a small service work order and a major service work order for uh, this asset so in this video we going to continue with the work uh, execution process for these two jobs so first let's go back to maximo and open a uh, work order checking application so in order to access that application let's uh, go back to our start center menu and then uh, open a work order module here go to the work order checking application and now uh, we can open our work that we have generated earlier so in this case i'm going to open the first one all right now with this work order generated from a pm then uh, generally we set up a work type of uh, having a type pm and now here from the pm then it will set a target start date and target finish date so generally from a pm then because we have defined a plan already the next step for us is we uh, ignore our planning process but just doing our scheduling so in this case let's say if the work order is generated and assigned to a scheduler then he will uh, define a suitable time to start the work and then he will enter the schedule started here so let's say maximo generated apm and tell me to start by uh, 22nd of uh, august but um, uh, our team are busy this week so uh, as a scheduler i'm telling maximo to start this job will is scheduled to start by maybe next week so i'm going here start at 10 a.m for example and then it will finish by the same day as well probably 11 30 pm so that's how we enter our uh, schedule start date and finish date and let's say if we have some specific requirement in this case uh, we say we need to do something else we can add to our job plans here So basically this part is uh, generally using con with the term uh, work plan and it is a copy of uh, job plan and uh, it's not associated which means we can edit this and it only uh, update to this cook order it doesn't affect our standard job plan for this uh, small service job so we can enter a new label and a new material as well for this job and after we have done that then we uh, can change the status of the work order to uh, with uh, to schedule or we can change it to approve generally we during implementation for last company then we also set up a workflow so it goes through uh, appropriate people and teams to review do the planning and to approve the jobs and if it involved with a safety procedure then probably we will need to uh, acquire a permit to work or authority to work as well but in this case I'm just going ahead and change it to approve so we have the approved status now and the next step for uh, a general work order process is to execute it so we can change the status to in progress right so once we change the uh, work order status to in progress then maximo will automatically calculate the actual start date and time and fill into this field and once we completed it then we can change the work order 
to status complete and then usually after we completed this work order then the mechanic or the supervisor of the job will come back and open maximo to enter the actual information like in this case we have completed these tasks and then uh, he will enter the actual labor time consumed for example in this case uh, let's say it takes a bit longer than uh, plant so it's gonna take two hour instead of one and a half hour as we defined so we can enter two hour here yeah and in this case we have to uh, select or define the actual person who carried out the job so in this case let's say this is this guy yeah And for consumable, then we can uh, define or we can uh, report our consumable here. So for smaller organization, then we can uh, uh, give an access to the uh, person, the mechanic to enter consumable uh, uh, or inventory uh, material consumption directly here. So let's say we can select a reserve item and then we can enter the information directly here in this screen but for larger organization then usually we uh, have we don't have this capability we cannot enter or change any information here but we given the uh, store manager the access to the uh, uh, inventory uses uh, which will record the issue and return and transfer of uh, material and it will automatically add issue or return uh, information here to this quick order automatically so that's how we enter enter actual information to a work order and if we need to compare the cost of the plan cost and uh, actual cost then we can choose view and choose cost here So in this case, it will show us with the uh, planning. So uh, in our plan, for example, we have plan to use uh, this uh, uh, labor and we uh, plan to use this material. So basically we have the total cost here and uh, the uh, estimate and the actual. So basically we have the difference between um, the cost right so uh, in a larger organization then usually we will need to attach all of our uh, supporting documentation as well so we can do that by going back to the work order tab here and choose add attachment so we can add like invoices like time sheets and uh, like uh, inspection document for example and after that then we can change the work order status to close to close it right so after we close a work order it will no longer be listed in the list screen so we will not be able to see them so if we search for that work order number here we will not be able to see them but if for some reason we want to open it to have a look, then we can choose in this screen, choose to show own records. And in this case, we will now be able to search for that historical work order record and we will be able to see them. So you can see that it has a close status here. If we know the exact number, then we can enter the exact number here and we still be able to open it directly. And sometimes after we have closed the work order and then we find out that uh, there are some details that we forgot to add or enter or attach, then we can still 
uh, fix that by using the edit work order history um, down here in the action uh, menu if we click on edit history work order then it will become editable again so usually this function is assigned to an administrator or maybe a supervisor so he can uh, fix the uh, mistake so let's say in this case uh, I forgot to report a um, some uh, use material for example then I can using this function to report a material uses so in this case instead of using one instead of using two then actually I always using one so in this case I'm gonna enter a return transaction to tell Maximo that I only use uh, one in total and that will reflect in our cost information for this work order so that's it for the basic step of the work execution process